It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. House of Gucci features an all-star cast of A-listers, including a very talented Arab actor. Academy Award nominee, Academy Award winner, one after another, and me. Yusuf Karkour joins the unbelievably true story of the assassination of the head of the Gucci family by his wife in the role of billionaire businessman and inventor Namir Kirdar, who at one point owned the Gucci brand. So Kirdar wrote a number of books and unlike most preparation for real bi you know, people who actually lived, I usually read, if they have a biography, I read their biography or their autobiography. Um, Namir Kirdar has a way of really explaining to you what his fundamental thought process is. He does, the, he does a lot of work for you while you're reading. Gucci needs new blood. It's time to take out the trash. The film marks Ridley Scott's 27th feature, as well as the fulfillment of a dream for Karkour, who had announced his desire to work with the director after winning a BAFTA Breakthrough Award in 2020. They asked me, who do you want to meet to be your mentor and everything? You can say any name. And I, I said, I know I'm an actor, but actually I, I would like Ridley Scott. He's the one I want to talk to. And little did I know that my agent at the same exact time was negotiating this audition. With Oscar buzz already in the air, particularly for lead actress Lady Gaga, House of Gucci is expected to dazzle audiences with its tale of wealth, luxury, scandal, and betrayal. This movie seems to me to be the culmination of a man's entire career. All his powers and everything he's learned, you know, Ridley Scott is a master in the writer's department, in the acting department, in the directing department, cinematography, in the art department, costume department. He is a master at all of it. And this movie kind of brings all of that together. Um, I think it's gonna, people are gonna be very excited. Arab News, Hollywood. Can you keep a secret? Father, son, and house of Gucci.